Hello children. In this lesson we are going to learn about parallelogram and their properties about the diagonal. Here is a parallelogram PQRS. Parallelogram is also a quadrilateral we know that with some more properties opposite sides are equal. So we draw a diagonal PR. There can be another diagonal QS also. And we know side PQ is equal to side RS. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Same way QR is equal to PS. And the side PR is common. So if we see this parallelogram is divided into two triangles PQR and PRS. And they both are congruent using the SSS, the side 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 rule. Remember of a triangle? This side is equal to this side of a, of a triangle. This side is equal to this side of this triangle and this side is anyway equal because it's a common side. So triangle PQR is congruent to triangle PRS using the side 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 rule. We draw the other diagonal also the QS and this point where both the diagonals meet the point O there is one interesting property for the parallelogram that this point O bisects the diagonal that is OQ is equal to OS and OR is equal to OP. This is equal to this or this equal to this. Why is that? Let's try to find out. We know opposite sides are equal. Let's consider these small triangles OPQ and ORS this small one this and this only forget about these two right now. We know opposite sides are equal of the parallelogram. We know in any two parallel lines if a diagonal intersects it, the interior angles like this angle RSO and PQO are equal. This is a parallel line, this is a parallel line and this is a diagonal. Cutting both of them, the interior angle, this angle is equal to this angle. Same way if this is the diagonal, then this angle is same as this angle. So what we found? We found the triangle PQO, this small one, is congruent to triangle ORS using angle side angle rule. This angle same as this angle, this angle is same as this angle, and this side is same as this side. Angle side angle is same as angle side angle. So these two triangles are congruent which really means this length OP is equal to OS and same way OP is equal to OR. So what we found the diagonals of parallelogram intersect at a point O in such a way that it bisects the diagonals into two parts that is it is equal OP is equal to OR and OQ is equal to OS. Make sense? So let's revise the properties of a parallelogram. This is rectangle which is also a parallelogram with more properties square, rhombus or a generic parallelogram. Diagonals always bisect each other that is diagonals meet at a point in such a way that this length is equal to this length and this length is equal to this length. That holds true for rectangle, square, rhombus also. But rectangle and square have some more properties that both the diagonals are equal. That is this entire length is equal to this length and this length is equal to this length. And in case of square and rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. That is this angle is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree. Same way here this angle is 90 degree and this angle is 90 degree. So remember children. Rectangle, square, rhombus are all form of parallelogram with some more properties. In square and rhombus, diagonals are bisecting as well as diagonals are of equal length and they are perpendicular to each other. This diagonal is perpendicular that is 90 degree angle is here or here. And in case of rectangle, diagonals are also bisecting meeting at this point and bisecting these lines and 
the diagonals are equal that is this diagonal is equal to this but their angle may not be 90 the angle is only there in square and rhombus that's all in this lesson children bye bye